Good morning, Pastor Keith Hodges here, and I want to welcome you to the Fruitful Five, five minutes that will empower you to live a fruitful life for Jesus Christ. Well, I want to continue our series entitled Lasting Leadership, and I want to talk to you today out of the book of James, James chapter 4. And we said that if we're going to have lasting leadership, really that the key to lasting leadership is humility, that pride really creates a spirit of rebellion. Uh, it robs us of lasting leadership. It keeps us from experiencing a legacy of leadership where we bear, are able to transfer on to the next generation uh, the work of God and the move of God that's happening in our lives. And so if we're going to be lasting leaders and we're going to leave a legacy behind us that's going to impact future generations, then we're going to have to be committed to an element of humility. The Bible said of Moses in Numbers chapter 12 that he was a very humble person, the most humble person on the earth. Now, what an amazing testimony of Moses' life. And so today I want to challenge you with giving you a couple characteristics of humility found in the book of James chapter 4, verse 16 through 17. I'm just going to read a few verses to you today. The Bible says in verse 6, verse 7, and verse 8, it says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Let me give you two keys or two characteristics of humility. Number one, submit to God. The Bible says, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. The key, I believe, number one to humility is a submitted heart. Now, when you think about submitting to God, I want you to understand that there are two elements of authority in our life. There's direct authority and there's delegated authority. Direct authority is the authority where we answer directly to God. And the Bible says that one day we're going to stand before the Lord and each and every one of us are going to give an account unto God. We need to understand that we need to walk in a place of humility. And humility begins with a submitted heart to God. It begins with a revelation that says, you know what, God, one day I'm going to answer. I'm going to give an account. Jesus went so far as to say that we're going to give an account for every idle word that proceeds out of our mouth. And by our words, we're going to be justified or by our words, we're going to be condemned. So, so humility begins with a submitted heart. And submission is not just obedience. It is the attitude of the heart. See, it's possible for you to tell your kids to do something and they'll obey you, but they actually don't submit to you. And the reason you know they've obeyed you but not submitted to you is that because out of obedience, they did what you told them to do, but there was no attitude of the heart change. They were not doing it with a right heart. They were not doing it with a submitted spirit. They were doing it because you made them do it. And so they were obedient, but they weren't submissive. And so I want to say to you today, if we're going to walk in humility, we've got to walk in a submitted heart that says, you know what? My heart is right with God and I am humbled before him and I am submitted to God and I'm willing to directly answer to him. And I don't know about you, but God is constantly working on my life. There's not a day that goes by that the Holy Spirit is not checking me and he's not directing me and he's not guiding me in specific areas that he wants to work. And so if I want to walk in humility, I've got to walk, first of all, in a place of submission. See, many times leaders want people to submit to them, but they're not willing, first of all, to be in submission to God. And so a submitted heart is an attitude of the heart that says, you know what, God? Yes, Lord. God, you want me to change? You want me to change how I treat this person? Yes, Lord. You want me to change how I'm raising my children? Yes, Lord. God, you want me to change my words and, and my actions? Yes, Lord. It's a place of submission. And here's the great thing. The Bible says, submit to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. The key to lasting leadership is humility. Why? Because without submission, there is no victory over the enemy. I've seen many a leader fall to temptation, and so have you. We've all seen it. We've read it in the newspapers. We've saw it on the news. We see it on Facebook as testimonies of spiritual leaders that are falling to temptation. Why? Because without a submitted heart, there is no victory over Satan, and there is no victory over sin. Our strength to overcome temptation, our strength to overcome the assault of the enemy is really established in the submission of our heart to God. So key number one, or the first characteristic of a humble heart is that my heart is submitted. Submitted to God, his direct authority, and then submitted to the delegated authority that God brings into our life. The Bible says, how can you love God whom you haven't seen if you can't love your brother whom you have seen? Well, I want to ask you another question. How can you submit to God whom you haven't seen if you can't submit to your brother 
whom you have seen. I heard a great statement years ago. A gentleman made this statement. He said, until you disagree with authority and do it with a right heart, you've never submitted. Submission is disagree disagreeing and doing it anyway with a humble, obedient heart. So I want to challenge you today. Are you submitted to God? Are you walking in a place of humility, submitted to direct authority? Yes, Lord. Submitted to delegated authority? Yes, Lord. God, I'm going to honor you. And so today, I believe as we submit to the Lord through submission, we find victory. Victory over the enemy, victory over temptation, and victory over every assault that Satan would try to bring against our lives. God bless you today as we grab hold of the eight keys and characteristics of humility and as we leave lasting leadership.